What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about why you need to be ruthless in business. This video may be offensive to some people. It may be counterproductive. It may actually hurt some feelings, but I don't care because it needs to be said. Let's talk about something that I'm doing. I have a consulting business. I have a YouTube business. I have an online course business. These are my three businesses that all generate money. And I have many, many people who want to talk to me for free. I don't do it. You know, I have an assistant who screens the calls and a lot of people want to ask me a question. And this is me being ruthless. If I wanted to, I could sit down and talk to these people. Why won't I just sit down and help people out for free? Number one, 2016, this was before I became ruthless in my YouTube business. In my storage auction business, I was very much ruthless. I was like, Aww! I was a straight up wolf. I would go after people. I came here on the YouTubes and I was very generous with my time and I gave away courses and I found out that people don't respect free. Essentially, I've had people who signed up for free courses and I go in and I can see if you're doing the course and a lot of people have not even done 1% of the course. Let's go back to talking to these people who want help, who need help. If you have not demonstrated that you are willing to do the work, I am not going to talk to you. All my consulting calls have been people who've been paying $1,500 to $5,000 and they all have businesses and they've all got through the gauntlet. The gauntlet is that, work, that rough part of starting your business and going through all of the BS and drama of starting the business. They've gone through it and they've been in business two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten 10 years. They're seasoned operators and they see the value in spending 1500 bucks to speak to me. Whereas a many people, and someone put this in the comment section of the live stream, that they're going to stop consulting with people who, who want business consulting. Who, who don't have a business. And I can understand and I can feel that because here's the thing, and this is me being the elitist motherfucker and the elitist asshole. Most of you will never get started. Dan Locke said this at a conference and I love this statement. I'm not in the business of helping losers win. I'm in the business of helping winners win more. And this is why I am ruthless in that regard. I'm not gonna talk to you. You could try to contact me on Facebook, you try to contact me on Instagram. I'm not talking to you because you have not done the work. You have not done the work. You've not set anything up. You've not gotten customers. You, you haven't gotten started. And you're looking for someone to hold your little hand as if you were a child and guide you. And also one of the things that talking to business owners is way more profitable than talking to non-business owners. Why do business owners have the money to pay me? I've got love for my broke dick Danny's out there. I got love for my penniless Priscilla's. I used to be you guys, but how did I get out of that? Work, 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 work. Not reading, not watching YouTube videos. YouTube didn't exist at that time. I got out of it because I applied myself and I was doing action points. And this is the biggest thing that I want to impress on you. If your life sucks, if you don't have the money to live the life that you want to, look at your work to production quotient. How many things are you producing? How many things are you putting out? If you look and it's like zero, there you go. That's it. That's why you are not doing what you want to do. And in terms of me being ruthless in the storage auction business, let me tell you, I was a complete and other asshole. And this is something I learned from one of the guys on the storage auction trail because see, one of the things that would happen is people would partner up and they wouldn't bid against each other and it got very political and it got very complicated. So if you had a number of these type of relationships that can <laughs> impede your business. I had a relationship with three people and that, that was it. I, once I got the three, I would not enter into these agreements anymore because it gets complicated because let's say all everyone is at the same auction and they start bidding first and you can't bid. This can mess up your money. So I became an asshole. I would bid against anybody. I would go up against people. I bid against my friends. And I was just like, hey, you know, they understood. One of the things is that many of you need to be tougher because I've got like the trade Ninos of the world who are trying to contact me on Facebook, who want to have a conversation over BS talking about who good are you talking to other people? No, I'm trying to educate your monkey ass. I am trying to help you by telling you the brutal, honest truth. Because at the end of the day, no no one gives a damn whether you're successful or not. No one cares. You could live and die tomorrow and no one would miss you. This is the reality of the world unless you are Michael Jackson 
or prince or someone that created, once again, producers and creators who created a legacy of work that moved people, that impacted people. So Prince is my dude, Michael, J Michael Jackson was my dude, and I miss these guys because they created content and music and things that uh, document periods in my life. I was in high school when Purple Rain came out. There's so many memories that are tied to that song that Prince created. And this is why I keep pushing you guys and urging you guys and, and making fun of you guys and clowning you guys to start a business, to get busy, to get active, to create something, to do something, to build something. And this is me being ruthless because I know. Give you an example. One of my girlfriends who was, uh, we got into it and I told her the brutal, honest truth about herself. Cause you know, I'm in a relationship. I'm not going to lie to you to quote, keep the peace or anything. I'm not going to do that. And I told her 100% the brutal truth. And it, it got to, it got, it penetrated and she began to facilitate and make changes. And then she went from making $45,000 a year under my tutelage to $130,000 a year. She did that in three years under my tutelage, under my direction, me pushing. Even being an asshole to your girlfriend can get you a better girlfriend. I'm here to tell you because one of the things is uh, someone had put up a post a comment and I deleted it. Glenda, you're trying to find a decent, wholesome girl. Why are you on the Sugar Babies websites? Let me tell you something. The whole Sugar Baby thing started off as an experiment because I was going to create a product for disruptive male and I'm not going to create that product. However, here's something that you guys need to understand because I'm a different kind of person. I have found some of the best girlfriends I ever had in life from the Craigslist protocols. What were the Craigslist protocols? You come over and fuck the shit out of me. Those were the Craigslist protocols. I'm not going to take you out. And some of those relationships, because we had such reciprocity, turned into relationships. And these chicks I met on, girl, on Craigslist turned into girlfriends. And they were some of the best girlfriends. You want to know why? because everything was clearly understood. They knew what they needed to do to keep me and to please me from jump. There was no BS, there was no game plan. It was just like, for me to make G happy, I need to suck that dick. They knew this and they liked to do it. And this is the thing. So I found some amazing girlfriend. There's a chick from the Sugar Baby website. We have seen each other six times. We've had sex six times. I've not given her a penny and nor has she asked me for any money. I want you to think about that. I went on the website where women are trying to extract money and I've done this quite a few times and I've been able to identify the traits and personalities to get a woman because once again, once you get a connection, once you get reciprocity, a lot of agendas go out the window. And this is what, you know, like, you may not be able to go on the Sugar Baby website and get a hot woman to come have sex with you, because you don't have no game, but that's not my problem. I understand women, I understand what makes women tick. And so many of you guys out here are looking for unicorns. You're looking for this girl who hadn't had sex with a lot of men who will love your rusty, dusty balls just because you're you and there's nothing extraordinary about you. There ain't nothing special about you. You have not built anything you've created. I have been able to get girlfriend after girlfriend who respected me, who appreciated me, who understood because I have, I'm a creator and a producer. See, this is one of the things why so many guys are losing in the dating market because they're unremarkable. There ain't nothing special about you. Once you make something special about you, once you get to a certain level, you will find out getting a dutiful, loyal, loving girlfriend ain't that hard. But if you just a regular dude out here sucking up oxygen, ain't doing nothing, ain't special, have no money, have no pedigree, have no prestige, have no business, have nothing. And you just wondering why it's hard? Cause you just like every other dude out there. There ain't nothing special about you. Make yourself special. Let me give you an example. And we got to go dark here. How many drug dealers do you know have a problem getting a girlfriend? All drug dealers have girlfriends. When I was in the storage auction business, I used to read the prison letters of these girls to these men in prison. They had great, affection, love, and empathy for these dudes in prison. See, a drug dealer, even though they're doing something wrong, a drug dealer has created something for himself that is atypical. He ain't a normal dude. And once again, if you're a normal dude, the more normal you are, the more pedestrian you are, the harder it is it's gonna be for you to get what you want. Like I said, I have no problem finding girlfriends. I have no problem finding beautiful, attractive, hot women to come over and do double monkey backflips all over. I have no problem with it because I'm not normal. I'm not a regular dude. Let me let this old man tell you something. I have fucked hotter chicks than you can imagine. 
You know, a lot of people like you old, because right now there's this big fascination. This is one of the reasons that Graham Stevens' channel has taken off, because he's a young guy. There's something special about Graham. I don't know what it is, but there's something special about him. One of the big things on YouTube is people like to see these young people driving these Lamborghinis, these Ferraris, living this life. And I'm here to tell you, once you make it on YouTube, you can make millions of dollars. It's the YouTube. It ain't like they went out and worked a regular job. It's the YouTube. And I'm I'm right. I like I'm I can tell you. Uh probably within the year, by the time my Savage Finance hits a year, I'll be consistently making about twenty, twenty-five thousand a month just YouTube money. And it's the ads that are ran on my channel. And by the time I get to two hundred thousand, uh, because like probably in a year, I'll probably be at about 50,000 subscribers, maybe 60, which is half of what's on this channel in a year. And this channel is 11 years old. So that channel is gonna get to 100K, 200, 300K subscribers. And once I get to 100K subscribers, 60, $70,000 a month YouTube money. I'm atypical. There's something not normal about me. Who else would come on YouTube and talk about sugar babies and go back and <laughs> clap back on the fools with like, you on the sugar baby website, I thought you were looking for Look, you could turn a hoe into a housewife if you have the skills. See, once again, I don't have these limited concepts and limited thoughts like, well, this girl's over here doing this. Let me go ahead and tell you something about a lot of women on the Sugar Baby website. A lot of women there are because they need money and they're in desperate situations. These are normal girls. They've never done anything like this before. And this is something that I've been able to exploit for my own personal pleasure and profit. Typically, they don't have no money and typically they don't have a boyfriend. Did you know, and this is something I know because I'm there, that many of the women who are on the Sugar Baby website are also on Bumble and other various dating sites, which means they need money, but they're also lonely. And I've been able to tap into that loneliness and get some double monkey backflips because I've no women. I mean, you're I'm the only guy on YouTube that has had that put an ad on Craigslist and had a woman without taking her out, without dating her, answer my ad and come to my place and have sex with me. Saying all that, that's very, very powerful. There are many people on YouTube who have the look, who talk about dating and relationships, but they don't have my level of expertise and experience with women. They just don't. They don't understand women like I do. Here's the thing. Let me go ahead and give it to you. This is me being an asshole again. If you want to get with good with women, you need to date women. You need to date a lot of women. That's how you get good with women, by exposing yourself, dating multitude of women. Like currently, right now, I'm dating three women possibly four, just depending. Cause like, you know, it's, uh, it's Thanksgiving today that I'm doing this. Uh, everyone's with their family and stuff, but one of them is gonna be here Friday night. So I'm dating four women. And a lot of you out here have a problem getting one. It ain't because I'm rich, it's because I got game. The being rich, the Porsche, the house, that helps, that helps greatly. Cause that creates the environment, that creates the trap. Oh, this is a nice house. Uh, I had the notary come in because I'm buying the car that's out of state and they shipped all the stuff and the notary had to come for me to sign all the paperwork. And she was just like, oh, this is a lovely house. I mean, I could have tapped that if I wanted that. Just, just based upon the way she was talking, she touched me a few times. If I had asked her out, she would have said yes. One of the things that you need to be firm, direct, to the point in life, it's gonna get you so much more. It's going to open up your life. It's going to create many things. Because like if you a dusty beta male with these felonious thoughts, because like I'm getting ready to uh, reset the Manifest Destiny channel and getting ready to do a whole new course of stuff. I'm probably do that in December. A lot of you guys do not understand the female obsession story. And if you can tap into that, you can have some amazing sexual experiences, amazing things you can have, amazing things that can go down. So one of the things I want you guys to understand and acknowledge is when you become an asshole, when you become a motherfucker, you really open up new doors. Let's talk about my ex. My ex, she's gorgeous. And she's got some big old double D titties that are natural that used to, like when she used to ride me and I look up and see them, no big, oh man, it was, it was intoxicating. And that beautiful little face of hers, cause she has a little face, a little head. She's very girly, but she became annoying. I got rid of a chick. A lot of you would have cut your left nut off to get in, up in that. I got rid of her. You know why? Cause I can get more. I can get more. So if a chick ain't doing what she needs to do to make me happy, goodbye. So hopefully you had a good holiday. We're getting ready to start cooking with gas. We're getting ready to rock out. And this video will probably pop up Monday. 
So go below, there are four free courses to help you start having a better life. And let's go ahead and start cooking with gas. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one.